Eric Woodyard. What's up, Coach? Obviously, the fourth quarter, you know, um, kind of what changed for you guys. Can you take me through, you know, the fourth quarter a little bit? And what did Milwaukee, you know, what did Miami do in that fourth quarter against you guys to, to, to kind of change the game? Well, they were able to, you know, hit some tough shots. They're able to get to the free throw line. They got some offensive rebounds. Um, we turned the ball over too much. Um, we had some good looks that we didn't make. Um, you know, we had a lead and, you know, we had need to make a couple of plays to keep the cushion um, and kind of, they just, they made every play and we didn't make, uh, we didn't make enough, obviously. Matt Velasquez. But we saw Giannis tweak his right ankle in the first quarter. Uh, to what extent was that bothering him throughout the game? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, he's he's a guy that's going to fight through everything. And, you know, the medical, the sports performance uh, group said that, you know, he was good to go and keep playing, um, you know, exactly how he felt and how he was affected. Um, you know, he, he's out there competing and giving us everything he's got. Um, I thought he did a lot of things well, um, you know, but we all got to do a little bit better. Um, so did, did that affect how you how you used him at all tonight? No, no, I think, you know, he was. He was still aggressive getting to the basket, you know, finding his teammates, rebounding, um, you know, so he was, uh, you know, not not any different now. Eric, name. I know uh, 35 and 36 minutes for Giannis and Chris is a little bit of a bump, but do you regret not playing them anymore in this game? No, you know, I mean, I think we, uh, you know, obviously it's it's 48 minutes and you got to be good for the last 12, you know? So if anything, you know, I think keeping us, you know, fresh and, and ready to go and compete and um, all those things. So, um, and, you know, Chris was in a little bit of foul trouble. So, um, you know, it's a high level. If you're, if you're going as hard as these guys are in a playoff game, um, you know, 35, 36, um, I think that's pushing the ceiling. And then in those final minute, those final seven minutes, Wesley doesn't play. He he had done such a good job on Jimmy in the second game, and then the start of the third game. What was the thought process on not keeping Wesley out there? I was just trying to balance out the group, and um, you know I thought Dante gave us a lot of good minutes. I thought George gave us a lot of good minutes. So um, you know all three of those guys are important to us, and um, you know so we used all three of them, and um, you know, that was kind of the plan going in. Chris Haynes. What have you what have you seen from your team to give you belief that they have some type of resolve to withstand the hold that you guys are in right now? Oh, they're a competitive group. They're a high character group. You know, we've always said that about them. So, you know, you got to dig deep. You got to just, you know, um, lean on your character, lean on your competitiveness, and just get focused on getting one game, get game four. Um, you know, that's where we, our mindset's got to be. Steve McGargy. In that regard, what did you tell the team after the game, just in terms of moving forward? Obviously, this has never been done before to come back from 03, the 03 deficit. Just what do you what did you tell the team in terms of how to attack the series from this point? Yeah, mostly, you know, similar to, you know, at the end of the day, the locker room's a locker room, but, you know, we just got to get one game. We got to just get our mind on game four. We got to do it for four quarters. We got to do it for 48 minutes, um, you know, find a way to win a game. And uh, just that's what's uh, most important. Lori Nickel. That said, I know you're not conceding anything, but this is kind of a big picture question. If these playoffs don't reflect what you guys were in the regular season, I just wonder what you kind of attribute that to. Is it the bubble and the weird fact that you don't have any home court advantage or is just Miami maybe that good of a challenge? I mean, when you think of this big picture, what are you thinking? I'm not thinking about the big picture. I'm just thinking about game four. Yeah. Dan Wakey. But are you still confident that the, the version of this team and the way they played throughout the season is is good enough, or are there big adjustments that need to be made between now and, and game four? No, I mean, you look at, you look at you know, for three quarters, um, you know, I think we're in a good spot. I think we're up 11 or 12 in the fourth quarter. You know, we got to be better finishing it out. We got to make more plays on the defensive ends of the court. We got to get more rebounds, more loose balls, keep them off the free throw line, um, all those kinds of things. So... You know, I think uh, I think we won the last three quarters of the second game. Uh, so, 
you know, six quarters in a row, but, you know, we've, we've, uh, we've given up big quarters, you know, in the first quarter in game two, now the big fourth quarter in this one, you got to do it for 48 minutes. Um, you know, so I think that's what uh, the challenge is and that's what we got to do. Thanks, bud. All right, thank you.